if you read the reference books, uh, they say that leopards will disperse at around 20 months. Now, the mother's job is to get them through that infant stage, uh, through the sub-adult stage, and protect them. Leopards don't do a lot of teaching, but while the mother leopard is away, the young cubs set up little kills. Lizards, Franklin, guinea fowl, anything that they can catch. So it's very much a self-taught predator. Now, with the mother leopard, the original mother leopard, at 13 months, every single one of her offspring had dispersed. It was like clockwork. But her estrel cycles, she would come back into estrus around 13 months. Now, some others, like a Meshobian female, the cubs are dispersing a lot later. Now that may be because the estrel cycle of Meshobian female is much slower. And so she's not coming into estrus where she calls for a male for mating. Um, and she's doing that later than the mother and therefore the cubs can stay longer. With leopards, anything from 13 months onwards. I saw a young male leopard he was 10 months old and he killed a water buck, a young water buck at 10 months old. He was gone by 11 months. He was gone, independent of his mother at 11 months. We've seen other cubs stay beyond 20 months. So, you know, it's a very uh, broad time. But basically when they're independent, when they can hunt for themselves and they have that confidence, they will then start to look for a, a territory of their own. The females can often set up the territory on the periphery of their mother. The males will get pushed far away by the dominant male. And that makes a lot of sense because you don't want a male from the same litter breeding with his sister. So it makes sense for him to move out. Another male with new genes to move in. He covers the, the females, new genes, strong breeding, and that's how the leopard system goes forward and survives.